Hello and welcome. My name is Alan and today we are back with more members of the 118th Congress. Today we'll be taking a look at Senator Thomas R. Carper and he is one of the two senators for the state of Delaware and he is a Democrat. Now before he became senator, he was preceded in office by William Roth. I think, yeah. William Roth. Now, let's look at who he is as an individual. He was born in Beckley, West Virginia on January the 23rd, 1947. Attended public schools, graduated from Whetstone High School in Columbus, Ohio in 1964. Earned a Bachelor of Arts from Ohio State University in Columbus in 1968. Um, Earned an MBA from the University of Delaware uh, in Newark in 1975. Served in the United States Navy from 1968 to 1973. Was a member of the Naval Reserve serving as a commander from 1973 to 1991. He was the Delaware State Treasure Treasurer from 1976 to 1983 before being elected as a Democrat to the 98th and to four following Congresses from January 3rd of 1983 to January 3rd of 1993. He was governor of Delaware from 1993 to 2001. Was chairman of the National Governors Association from 1998 to 1999 and then would be elected to the United States Senate in 2000 for the term commencing January the 3rd 2001 re-elected in 2006 2012 and 2018 for the term ending January 3rd 2025 so yeah he has been in Congress for 17 Congresses and remember that's every two years so, 34 years in Congress he served. Now, let's look at his committees. He is on the Committee on Homeland Security and Governmental, Governmental Affairs, of which he is on the Subcommittee on the Permanent Subcommittee on Investigations and on the Subcommittee on Government Operations and Border Management. He is on the Committee on Finance, of which he is on the Subcommittee of Energy, Natural Resources and Infrastructure. He's on the Subcommittee on Healthcare, and he is the Chairman of the Subcommittee on international trade, customs, and global competitiveness. He is also the chairman of the Committee on Environment and Public Works, of which he is chairman on the Subcommittee on Fisheries, Water, and Wildlife, and the chairman ex officio on the subcommittee on transportation and infrastructure. 
Now, let's look at his top five industry donors at the top over his career. Number one is insurance, which has donated a total of one million two hundred ninety-five thousand nine hundred and forty-two dollars. Next is lawyers and law firms, which have donated a total of one million two hundred and ninety-two thousand six hundred and thirty-nine dollars. Next is securities and investment, which altogether has donated a total of one million one hundred and ninety-seven thousand eight hundred and thirty-seven dollars. Next is pharmaceuticals and health products, which have donated a total of eight hundred and twenty-eight thousand five hundred and seventy-nine dollars. And finally is commercial banks, which altogether have donated a total of two. Uh, seven hundred and ninety seven thousand nine hundred and sixty six dollars now let's look at his all-time top five individual donors and contributors at the top number one we have JP Morgan Chase and company they are an American multinational financial services firm headquartered in New York City and incorporated in Delaware. Altogether, it has donated a total of $160,409. And once again, that's J.P. Morgan Chase and Company. Next, at number two, we have DuPont Company. And they are commonly shortened to DuPont and are an American multinational chemical company first formed in 1802 by French-American chemist and industrialist um, Elouffere Irene Dupont de Nemours. I probably butchered that name. Altogether, it has donated a total of $140,393. And once again, that's DuPont Company. Next, at number three, we have MBNA. And they are a bank holding company and parent company of wholly owned subsidiary MBNA America Bank NA headquartered in Wilmington, Delaware. Prior to being acquired by Bank of America in 2006. Altogether, they have donated a total of $130,447. And once again, that's MBNA Corporation. Next, at number four, we have Blue Cross Blue Shield. And they are a federation or supra organization of, in 2022, 34 independent and locally operated Blue Cross Blue Shield of America companies that provide health insurance in the United States to more than 115 million people. Altogether, it has donated $96,080. And once again, that's Blue Cross Blue Shield. Finally, at number five, we have AstraZeneca PLC. And they are a British-Swedish multinational pharmaceutical and biotechnology company with headquarters at the Cambridge Medical Biomedical Campus in Cambridge, England. Altogether, it has donated a total of $92,154. And once again, that's AstraZeneca PLC. But, this has been a look at Tom Carper who is one of the two senators for the state of Delaware. As always, 
educate thyself, think, read, study, learn. Someone tries to tell you something you have trouble believing, ask them to cite your, ask them to cite their sources. I'll be putting my sources in the description box below the video. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Until then, later.